Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the channel. And if you're back, thank you for returning. I have a couple of diamond paintings. These are Easter diamond paintings from a Diamond Art Club. As you can see, I have one that is smaller, one that is larger. Oh, they're from my two favorite artists, so you can for sure guess which one is one of them. So I'm going to show you that one first. We'll leave the big one for the second one. So what is the smaller one and who is it by? It is by none other than Randall Spangler. Woohoo! <laughs> now, as you can see, this is a round drill diamond painting by the symbol there and the pink uh, little line around. So, this one is called Easter Dragon. It is a smaller one, 17 inch by 18 inch, or that works out to be 42.6 centimeters by 45.7 centimeters. So, not too big. So, we have on the back of the box, if you are not familiar with Diamond Art Club, we have the instructions on how to diamond paint. Tells you what's all included in the kit. So, everything that you need to diamond paint is included in this box. So, if you're just starting out, don't worry about all the fancy tools and gadgets. You can use just what is inside the box. So, I am so excited to see this. Um, this will first be going up tomorrow, which is Saturday. I am recording this on Friday. And that is merely because I'm going to be kidding this up right away tonight and starting it tomorrow. Now, here is the small sticker sheet. Normally, I peel this off and I put it on the end of my boxes so that when I put it in my storage, I can see at a glance what diamond painting is what. But because I'm doing this one immediately, I'm not going to bother doing that. <laughs> we do have our toolkit. Again, contains everything you need to complete your diamond paintings. Now, they did upgrade their toolkits last year sometime. And this is what we all get. You get a standard diamond painting pen with a matching squishy. Makes it much more comfortable to hold your diamond painting pen. We get a bag of baggies. <laughs> there usually isn't quite enough baggies to kit up the entire diamond painting. Um, this one does, well, I'm not sure how many colors. We'll have to see how many colors. Um, but some people like just bagging up in these. Um, so you definitely can do that. We have a heart of pink wax. This does have a plastic covering on it. So make sure you remove the plastic covering before you try putting it in your pen. Some people have had problems putting the pink wax in their pen. All right, let's get that back on. You do get a couple of multi-placers. So in their kits, you always get a four multi-placer and a seven. You get a roll of washi tape. Oh, this is cute. We have some flowering trees. That's pretty. And you get a cover minder. Oh, isn't it cute? That's adorable. So it has magnets on the back and people either use these just for decoration or if you are one that likes to keep the clear plastic down on your diamond painting um, as you pull it up or pull it down and you want to keep that plastic out of the way, you put one magnet underneath, the other one on top of that plastic and it keeps it away from the area that you're working on. Then you get your little white tray and they now included a stopper that goes in here to prevent your drills from falling out. I never really use stoppers, 
but it is there if you like to use one of those. So let's get this all back. My magnet came off. Don't lose you. Okay, I'll get this all back in here later. But let's get at the fun stuff. <laughs> all right, all of Diamond Art Club's kits come in this plastic dust covering. Not absolutely watertight, but it does definitely help protect the canvas, especially if you have animals. <laughs> because their canvases are really soft, they're lanolin um, uh, cloth. And what that means is they're self-flattening. So if you unroll them and leave it out for a little bit, the canvas itself will completely, oh my God, completely flatten but because we're in a hurry you can roll it back the other way now this is poured glue so you can do this if you have one that is what's called double-sided adhesive typically they don't have the clear covering they will have a white opaque covering for the most part um, you wouldn't want to roll it backwards you would uh, make a big mess in the double-sided adhesive Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Uh, we have the Easter Bunny. Oh, so if you're not aware and you don't, you haven't heard of Randall Spangler before, he is famously known for his uh, little draglings. There's a whole story behind the draglings and, and where they live. And there are two, there's a brother and a sister. We have Dagmar and Dewey. Does this one show the, I don't know, because he's in a costume. So um, Dewey has five little balls on the end of his tail. Dagmar, who is the girl, Dewey's the boy, Dagmar has four. Um, so you can always tell the boy and the girl uh, apart. And uh, Dagmar also has eyelashes. And there are a num you can count the number of warts on their cheeks so all different ways to tell them apart but oh he is so so cute so this must be dewy because there's no eyelashes <laughs> we have some easter eggs down here jelly beans oh we got a little chocolate bunny easter egg basket looks like a chocolate chick maybe Oh my gosh, he's in this cute outfit with the flap in the front. Oh my heavens. Wow, there are 56 colors in this little thing. Holy cow. So let's look at the canvas up at the top, Diamond Art Club. They're uh, saying, do what makes you sparkle. And then both on this side and on the right side, we have our legend. And it's always nice and big, easy to read. So we have our number, our symbol, and then the DMC code as usual. Down here in the corner, we do have a little thumbnail of the picture. We have Easter Dragon. So we have the name of the diamond painting. We have the size and it is copyrighted by Randall Spangler for Diamond Art Club, which is really important because you know this is licensed artwork. Diamond Art Club is the only company that um, licenses Randall Spangler's diamond paintings. So if you see diamond paintings of Randall Spangler's from anywhere else, those are stolen images just fyi the only other place you can get randall spangler things is um from heaven and earth designs they have a whole bunch of counted cross stitch patterns which you can use for conversion kits and you can convert them into a diamond painting and you if you're again familiar with diamond painting you may have seen videos on people doing conversion kits we have their social media information. We have a discount code, TAKE10. 
10% off your next order. There are tons of discount codes everywhere. Um, I do have a discount code down in the description below because I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate. If it's your very first order, I have a code down there to take off 15% off your order. Then it says here it comes with a lifetime warranty if for some reason there is something wrong with the canvas. If you have missing drills or you run out of any drills, you can message them and they will send you the extra ones. Or even if you spilt some or your child or pet has <laughs> spilt them, just contact them and they will replace those colors for you. Up to I think five colors. So that is the canvas. Super, super clear images, images, symbols, as usual for Diamond Art Club. I have never, ever <laughs> had a problem with Diamond Art Club's uh, clearness of their symbols. So here is the plastic covering, and that's where the cover minder would come into play. If you're working down here and you want to keep this out of your way, put the magnet underneath and the cover minder on top and it'll hold that out of your way. I don't keep my plastic, my clear plastic on top. I take it all off and I put cover sheets on. Anyhow, let's get on to this. You get a thank you little brochure from Angie who is the owner of Diamond Art Club. Again, tells you what's included in your kit. You do have some tips and tricks. You can join their VIP Facebook group, which you will find awesome, awesome content um, in that Facebook group. So there's a QR code if you do want to see a video showing step-by-step -step instructions. And then their website, diamondartclub.com. And then, yes, the VIP Facebook group receive exclusive group announcements and get inspired by others. So again, QR code for that group. And the step-by-step -step instructions. And 20% off your first purchase through the app. So they do have an app that you can download both on um, Android and iOS, Apple. So here we have our large sticker sheet. They do have the name of it, who it's by, start and end date for those of you who like to keep track of that. We have this cute image. It says that it's around. Again, gives you the size and Diamond Art Club's SKU number. And then we have our stickers, and these are so nice <laughs> when you are kidding up. Um, if you know, even if you're using the plastic baggies, it gives you that number, the symbol, and the DMC code. These are all individually cut, so you just peel each one off, put them on whatever containers or baggies or whatever you're using to kit up. So, again, we have 56 colors. Any number under 150 is an AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and they just have this extra shimmering coating on them, kind of like the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. And so we have one, two, three of them under 150. So numbers one, two, and three looks like we'll have a green, which is very common in Randall Spangler's diamond paintings. Then it looks like we have a purple and a light yellow. So one, two, and three is nice when they do that. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> They'll get these a little out of order and it gets a little confusing. <gasps> That's a new symbol I haven't seen yet. Hmm. I think the other ones, yeah. The other ones all look pretty familiar. And it doesn't seem like there's any that are too similar in a similar color. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, but thank heavens, their canvases are nice and clear. So it's not too big of a problem. So let's take a look at the pretty. So you can see we're going to have a lot of brown. 
I can see already kind of where there's highlights where that pale yellow is going to come into play. And I'm sure the green is going to be in the dragon. Let's zoom down in and we're going to look at these drills. If you don't like this part, just zip on by. Now you're going to notice little holes in these baggies and they do that on purpose. Uh, they put just a little pinprick in each bag and that is to prevent static. Um, they and many other companies uh, were having a lot of problems with static inside the bag. They were manufacturing them a little bit differently but they have taken care of that now so there's not near as much static. I haven't been having too much of a problem with their kits at all anymore so that's nice. So we have our black 310, 400, 355, 3830, 976, 977. So yeah, look at all these browns, dark brown, 898. There's our first AB. It is this shimmering light butter yellow. I don't know if you can see that extra iridescent coating. And they just really highlight in the diamond painting, kind of draws your eye to that area. 935, 895, 300, 301. Now you'll notice they don't go on DMC number order. They always go in order by weight. So your most diamonds to your least or vice versa, depending on how you're looking at it. 814. 754, 322, 3855. There's lots more, folks. <laughs> oh, let's go this way. We have 758, 334, 3778, 720, 3755, 3827. 3371, 312, 498, 900, 356, 444, ooh, look at that bright yellow, 3826, 208, here's the next AB, this is that green that I was talking about, 108, so again, that shimmery coating, 321, 38, yeah, 33, 25, 9, 39, 8, 0, 3, and the last AB, which is this beautiful purple. So again, that beautiful extra shimmer as if these aren't shiny enough <laughs> because now they make all their drills in-house. So they sparkle even more than they did. Oh, gorgeous. And last but not least, we have 3777 with a little hitchhiker, 471, 775, 327, 721, 938, 890, 894, look at that pretty pink, 311, 907, pretty bright green, 937, 3852, 702, and 701, 3708. Imagine we have a few pinks in those ears and whatnot. <laughs> 722, 703, 550, my favorite. 3756, and 210. So we have a lot of these little small bags of colors. I imagine because of the Easter eggs and marbles and whatnot. So let's go and see where our AB drills go. We'll go back out. So we're going to look for numbers one, two, and three. Number one is that green, which I know never assume but I would think would be in him there isn't any okay I was wrong again um, it is highlighting in the plants all this light green 
our ABs. None in there. But yeah, all in through here. So it's sprinkled all through there. Do we have any down here? There are some in this Easter egg. And here. And up here. So that's where the green goes. Then number two, which is this pretty lavender purple color. We have some way up here. Oh, and there's a bunch down in this Easter egg. All through here. And then some over here, too. So in the Easter eggs. And then number three, which was that really pale yellow. So let's see where that all goes. Number three. Oh, it's going to outline the entire ear. A little bit in the eyes. And all the way around this, so it's going to highlight the entire ear. And then a whole bunch in the arms here, a little bit in the ear down here. All the lighter yellows that you see through here, a whole bunch in here. Down the, so a lot in the haunches <laughs> in here. A couple for highlights in the jelly beans. Quite a few yellows used for highlighting. Oh, that is going to be so cute. Diamond Art Club just does a fantastic job of rendering their diamond paintings from the pictures. And they do it all hand rendering. It's not via computer like a lot of other companies. Um, so, yeah, they hand chart them. And they decide where to put the ABs. And they always do such a fantastic job. Of course, you can add and and enhance diamond painting. A lot of people do that. Oh, so cute. Absolutely love it. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to get this all away and we're going to get out the next diamond painting. All right, on to diamond painting number two. This is a square diamond painting. Who do you think is probably my second favorite from Diamond Art Club? It is Hannah Lynn. Oh, this one is called Spring Delight. This is a big one. Um, it is a square, like I said. The size is 25.6 inches by 34.7 inches, or that worked out to 65 centimeters by 88 centimeters. So this is a whopper, but I just couldn't resist. So this will probably be left for next Easter. Because <laughs> I do want to get that Randall Spangler done before Easter. Seeing as how it's a small one, and I'm going to start it right away. Um, I, think I, I think I might be able to do it. I do have that other one upstairs to finish tonight, but I think I should. I'm almost done with it. So here we go again with our small sticker. So I am going to put this one whoa, on the top of the box, the flap, so that I know in the future which one this is. Okay, let's look at the toolkit again. See what kind of cover minder and washi tape we get. That's the most exciting part of opening these. Now, you can, there is, you know, a place to tear these open, but they do come right open like this, so. <laughs> and here we go with all our goodies again. Now, you do, on square diamond paintings only, you do get a set of tweezers that has Diamond Art Club on it. They are the very sharp, sharp tweezers, so keep, make sure you keep the protective plastic on. Again, you get your standard diamond painting pen with a matching squishy. You get your set of baggies, your multi-placers again, four and seven placers. You get your heart of wax. And this is our washi tape with this kit. We have a floral pattern. 
and our eye cover minder. Looks like an Easter bunny, huh? That was appropriate. Another strawberry, just like the first one, but different. They're so cute. Okay, so again, I'll uh, just kind of put this to the side and I'll get it back in there off camera. Because we want to look at the important stuff. Not that that's not important, but. <laughs> Oh, this thing is heavy. Again, comes in this nice plastic, which I'm going to make sure I keep this one, seeing as how I'm going to be putting it in my stash. Now, I have my camera all the way up, but of course, we are not going to be able to see this all in one shot. We have our cute little shoes down here. And in typical Hannah Lynn style, Everything is outlined in black, so we know we're going to have a ton of black drills. Oh my gosh, look at the Easter basket. Oh, with the bunny. Pretty flowers. Look at these butterflies. And we have these little chicks. Some more flowers and butterflies. Oh, look at all the flowers. And there she is. Isn't that cute? And then we have the clouds. We have some birds, kite flying. It's pretty trees, maybe apple blossom trees. Green tree over here. A tire swing. <laughs> Looks like we have blue and yellow here. Well, that'd be pretty. Oh, so pretty. So again, going around the canvas, we have the Do What Makes You Sparkle. Diamond Art Club, we have the legend on both the left and the lower right. There are 52 colors in this diamond painting, so there's less in this huge diamond painting than that small Randall Spangler, which goes to tell you that there's probably going to be a lot of confetti in there. I didn't look at that, I guess, which I know some of you like to know. Randall Spangler diamond paintings typically have a lot of uh, confetti in them, which confetti just means there's a lot of different colors within a small area so you're switching out colors a lot um, does take longer to do however the confetti is what gives it the detail some people like confetti some people like what we call our i'm gonna say group our um oh my gosh just the word just escaped me black drilling where up in here you have all the same color in a large area so there is some of both in this diamond painting i would say the majority well i shouldn't say the majority is confetti because we do have some block drilling down here too but a lot of confetti in through here this kind of confetti i don't mind because there's basically three colors so you will be able to have the one color in your tray for a while you just fill it all in, you get out the next color, fill it all in, you know, and then the black, oh, and yeah, the white is an AB. So this tree is really going to be highlighted in the blossoms. So yeah, we're going to say those are, that's a cherry blossom tree or an apple blossom tree. Oh my gosh, we have some daffodils, tulips, beautiful butterflies and I'm gonna leave this down here so we can take a look at the drills again you get this thank you and it will have that discount code in oh, yeah down at the bottom as usual we also have the thumbnail spring delight the size and that it's legally licensed by Hannah Lynn. Again, same info here. And your uh, 
lifetime warranty. Now, if you do purchase this from somebody else, somebody else is destashing it, you will no longer have that lifetime warranty. It is only for the original purchaser that that warranty will apply to. We do have our sticker sheet. So again, name of the diamond painting by Hannah Lynn, start date and end date. And there she is. So you can see the picture all at once. It is a square, which I love both round and square, but I am, I kind of like the square better. Um, square gives a little bit more detail. The square drills are just a teeny tiny bit smaller than rounds. So if there's something with a lot of detail, a lot of times they're going to be square drills. Has the size and then the SKU number. Here are our stickers. Again, individually cut 52 colors and underneath 150 again are ABs. So we have one, two, three, and four. So we have four ABs in this diamond painting. A lot of greens. Oh, some pretty colors in here. Yeah, as you can imagine, there's going to be a ton of greens in here and a ton of black. <laughs> We have quite a few yellows because of her dress. Okay, let's let's look. Let's look. On the bag that contains the drills, you always have the name of the diamond painting too. Some people like to store their diamond paintings separate from their drills. You know, if, if the boxes themselves are taking up too much room, they'll take these and put them in one area and then the drills in a separate area. So that's how you can keep track of what pack of drills goes to what diamond painting. Oh my gosh, look at this rainbow of colors. Oh, does that scream spring or rot? Holy guacamole. Whoo! Let's just start right here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of green. So we have one, two, three, four big bags of this 906. I love that color. Yeah, it is 906, but it was upside down. So let's go this way. <laughs> so yeah, four bags of that. Look at that pretty bright yellow, 742. Here we go with the 310s. Ready? How many do you think? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine bags of three, ten. Oh my god. <laughs> now, because three tens are so massively produced, uh, some of the more budget friendly companies, not all, but sometimes you'll find that the three tens have a little bit more trash to them and whatnot because they are so massively produced. However, Diamond Art Clubs, no. Like I said, they're made in-house and they are just awesome. Three bags of this beautiful 917, which is that gorgeous magenta. Two bags of 604, that beautiful pink. We have a big bag of 333. Another one of my favorites. Ooh, we have, does it want to let go of the diamond painting? We have one, two, three bags of 904. Oh, look at this pretty butter yellow. This must be in her dress. 744, three bags of that. 743, two bags of that. 905, two bags of that green. 162, two bags of that. So that must be in the sky. Here's our first AB. Two bags. Oh, wow. Of 141. And that is uh, the number for. Now, Diamond Art Club has their own numbers for their ABs. Um, they don't correspond to the DMC numbers, but so we have these two big bags of 
white ABs, and we'll see where those go. Two bags of 907. Oh my gosh. Two big bags of 120, which is this beautiful blue AB. So I wonder if that's all going to be in the sky too. Wow, we're going to have a sparkling sky if that's the case. <laughs> 3818, 817, 3766, 3746, 890. Sorry, there. Now you can see it, huh? 754, 155, 119. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful purple AB. Gorgeous. So we'll see where that goes. Thirty-seven ninety-nine, seven sixty-one, seven forty-one, seven sixty-two, four thirteen. Oh, isn't that pretty? Thirty-eight forty-three, nine thirty-eight, seven eighty-three, five fifty, and four fourteen. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Flippy around here. We have nine fifty five, thirty seven seventy eight, seven fifty eight, three fifty two, two ten, thirty eight, thirty seven. So we have a number of shades of purple, dark green, thirty three seventy one, nine fifteen. 300, 317, ooh, another bright yellow, 307, 603, 948, must go in her face, 996, 738, 780, 415, 133, there's that last A, no, yeah, last A, B, that's that pretty orange. Bet you that goes in the flower somewhere. Hmm? 165 and finally 898. Ah, let's look where all of these ABs go. I'm going to just take all these drills off the canvas so we can move it around as large of a desk as I have. It's never big enough. When, especially when you're unboxing things this big. <laughs> so, let's start it at the top. Okay, we do have a lot of that blue. So it goes around all the clouds. It outlines everything through here. Holy cow! Yeah, it outlines absolutely everything. No wonder we have two bags. And it is the polka dots in her bow, in the band. It's some blue in her hair, so her hair is going to be highlighted with it. Again, goes all the way around up here. Holy cow. All the way around the tree. And all the way down the hill. Again, the polka dots in her sleeve in the handle of the basket and all of the blue polka dots in her dress in the bunny's eye this over here and I think this is supposed to be water so all the water the light part is all ABs and you can see the water in behind the plant so there's a lot of blue AB in there wow holy cow okay let's start at the bottom then with number two uh, that was number two sorry number one is the purple so none at the bottom okay we have number ones here and it's going to be highlighting in the basket the squares Again, in the handle of the basket. 
Oh, and all this light purple all the way up. It must be like a flowering hedge or something. All purples into here. And then some pinks. Oh my gosh, it's going to be stunning. And some more up in this flower down here. All the way through here and through here. So all the lighter areas where you see this light purple, that's all that light purple AB. Oh my gosh. In the butterfly down here. Up in one of these must be the, the tail of the kite. Yeah, a few here. Holy cow. So they're just spread all over the place. Number three was that pretty orange. Let's see where that is. Yeah, it's in this tulip. All this red orange that you see here. The middle of that flower in here for like the stamens, I think, of the daffodil. There wasn't a big bag of those, so I'm suspecting it's just some highlights in some of the flowers. Yep, around here in the butterfly. <laughs> the little beaks on the chickies. <laughs> Over here in this flower. And again, highlighting in the tulip. And that is about it. And Finally, okay, we did the number four in the clouds, highlighting the top of the flowers, all of the blossoms in that tree. Boy, that's going to be sparkly. This whole cloud, except for the gray, the whole cloud, complete white AB. Then we'll have this gray outline. Wow. Oh, and some up in the birds. Again, all the cloud minus the, the gray is not. Another cloud. Um, the shine in her eyes is coming down from this flower in here. That's all AB. Yeah, highlighting all the flowers in her sleeve. Oh, all number fours in through the bunny. We're going to have a glistening bunny in here. I wonder there's two bags of the number fours also in through here, through here a little bit, here. Wow. Over here in these flowers. If you can see it, it's way off to the side. I said hard to manage as big of a canvas. I'm glad I have a big easel upstairs. <laughs> you definitely need something bigger to work on this. And I think that is about it. Yeah, that's all. So yeah, sprinkled throughout the entire canvas, those four ABs. Oh my gosh. Now I'm hoping, what number is S? 744. I'm going to have to look and see because, well, she must have gloves on. I was going to say, I certainly hope her skin isn't yellow, but she has gloves on. Okay, so we do have the peach of her arm here. So the skin tone, you know, and her face. And then, yes, gloves. Okay, so, yeah, what do you think? Both the Randall Spangler and this beautiful big Hannah Lynn. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. This would take a while to complete. I think this is, if you've seen my end of the month, um, what I completed as far as coloring and diamond painting. Um, was it the end of January? Because I don't think it was in February. Was it in February? <laughs> I can't remember now. I had completed that huge handle in, the Cinderella one. This is probably real comparable in size. This may even be a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. That was a big one, but I think this might be a little bit bigger. So I am going to leave it there. 
um, again, uh, look for discount codes. It's, I mean, there's no reason you should pay full price for your uh, Diamond Art Club diamond paintings. There's discount codes everywhere. Again, on the canvas itself, in that insert that you get. Um, if it's your first purchase, you can use my uh, code down below in the description. Um, the VIP Facebook group. After your first purchase, you can go ahead and join that. So, yeah, all kinds of social media everywhere. They're on Instagram where they show sneak peeks. Every Saturday, they come out with new diamond paintings. So, they always show those on Instagram and in their VIP group. So, check out all the things. Thank you so much for watching this exciting unboxing of these two adorable Easter diamond paintings that Diamond Art Club came out with. I will leave links to Diamond Art Club's uh, generic website, their general, and then I'll leave links to both of these. I'm not sure if they sold out or not. However, if they have, I'll indicate that down in the description also. So, if you enjoyed watching the unboxing of these two adorable diamond paintings, please hit that thumbs up on your way out. You can leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below in the comment section. I love reading through your comments. And of course, if you're not already subscribed and you enjoy everything to do with adult coloring and or diamond painting, please consider subscribing. I do usually try to post at least one video every day with an exception here and there. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. As always, happy coloring and happy diamond and painting and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!